when you build a schoolie or live in a schoolie, probably the biggest love-hate relationship in the bus has got to be the windows, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I mean the window because you love the windows because of the view they offer you at the amazing places where you're parked, but you hate the windows because they let the cold in in the winter and the heat in in the summer and you're always battling the temperatures. So we did what almost everybody in a schoolie does and we cut reflectix in the sizes to fit each of our windows. So we have whoops, all of the, um, the square pieces that just pop into each window very easily. But our bus has two different sizes of windows. So there's actually two different sizes of squares and rectangles. So they don't really stack up all that nicely. And then you also have the front windows and the back windows. And we had to put magnets on ours to keep them in place. So then they're just stuck to each other and you're like, you're just wrestling and fighting all these gobs and gobs of reflectix the whole time. And the worst part about that is then when you want the views and you take every piece of reflectix down out of the windows, where do you put it? There's nowhere in the bus to keep this huge gob of odd pieces of reflectix. We're frustrated with the reflectix, you guys. We're looking for another solution and we originally planned on having curtains, which is why there are curtain rods already up here, just so we could um, close the curtains on the reflectix to block that ugly view. But now we have another plan for our curtains. So let me show you what we're gonna do. actually a new day because we didn't get this project finished last night so um, Mike kind of petered out at the end of the day. Did not carry you. <laughs> so we're finishing up the curtain rods really quick this morning so we can get on with making the curtains and I can't wait to show you the stuff we got for that. They do look kind of cute. I didn't think I was gonna like the, the brass and copper together and that was not a choice on purpose, you guys. Like, that's literally just, you have to go with what the hardware store has and that's what they had. Yeah. But I actually think it looks kind of funky and cute. As it is right now, all the curtains ours have been reinstalled professionally. <laughs> oh, listen to this. <laughs> what have you got here? What, me? This? I took my cue from Lisa in the crazy green bus. The lady who draws all the little animals on the side of their green bus, our twin bus. She used canvas drop cloth for her curtains, which I thought was a great idea because the fabric has a really natural look to it, like natural tone and like little flecks in the fabric. So I just have to trim all the uh, hemmed edges off of the, of the drop cloth first. Gotcha. So canvas isn't the only thing these curtains are gonna be made of. This is just gonna be the part that shows on the inside of the bus. On the other side of the curtains, they're gonna be covered with a layer of this space age stuff we got from SpaceX. <laughs> Just kidding. It's called Insul Shine. They have it on Amazon and we bought 10 yards of it or you can buy it in one yard sections, but we have to do every single window in the whole bus. So we're gonna see how much this covers. It's obviously this shiny Mylar stuff on this side, but then it's like a thick layer of quilted batting also. So I guess it's going to be very insulative for our curtains and we're hoping that it works good enough that it, that it replaces the reflectix and we never even have to use the reflectix again. Fingers crossed. All right, so the inside piece is actually smaller than the outside piece or the piece that goes on the other side. So the edges of the canvas will wrap around the edges of this. We also don't have an ironing board, so we'll be using the edge of the sewing table for that. <laughs> no 
now I gotta go an inch on the next seam. Well, we totally bombed the first curtain. My measurements were completely off and the inside piece of insole shine does not fit the outside piece of canvas. So we're chucking this one and starting over. Okay. Got it? Yeah. You guys, we have been going at a snail's pace it has just been one problem after another the fabric is like mysteriously shrinking and we can't figure out what's wrong we finally got some sewing done and we got to the part where we were ironing and i had to be really careful around the insole shine and then i stuck the iron right on the edge of the insole shine which melts rapidly under the heat of an iron so we're fixing that now oh put the tape on it before I got there. <laughs> Sew your own curtains, they said. It'll be easy, they said. <laughs> Not with insole shine, it isn't. <laughs> These curtains better work. It better be worth it. It looks like we might actually be about to make some progress. Knock on wood. All right. <laughs> It is so I realize normally a curtain would be all gathered up and rippled when it was in the closed position, but with that insole shine that's so thick in the backing, I was afraid that it would be too thick if I tried to make the curtain rippled. So I'm just making the curtains to where they stretch straight and hang flat. They're not going to look beautiful, but they're going to keep the sun out. And that's the important part. Oh, it's really hard to open. That's not good. I warned you about that. Too small of a rod pocket. It's not too small of a rod pocket that's the problem. Oh, it's much easier to close than it is to open. You know, not, it's still too short. It's too short. Breaking A! How is this too short? I measured so precisely. We cut so precisely. I sewed as carefully as I could. I know. Measure the... It's like an inch and a half too short. Me measure it with your thing right now. Forty and a half. That's why I made it 41. What is going on? I think, obviously, we're stuck in the twilight zone. And everything that we measure and cut comes out skewed because aliens are controlling our fabric from afar. This is so weird. Man. I know. <laughs> We've spent all day on this one curtain panel. We finally got it like three quarters of the way done. We're not even done with the hem on the bottom yet because we needed to measure that first, but it's too short. It doesn't come all the way to the middle. Okay, we decided it was gonna fit better in this window than over here. Just wasn't wide enough to fill this gap, obviously, but instead of throwing the curtain away, and wasting it, we're gonna use it on one of these windows. They are like 32 inches wide. Yeah, that looks cute, right? So I should make them a little bit gathered and a little bit puckery. But a bigger pocket. Okay. Well, they just, we can't open them right. The good news is, is that the curtains aren't a critical fail. So, how do you figure? Well, what I'm trying to say is we can still drive. <laughs> so it's not a critical fail. However. It's working on that. Summer is coming. That's right. <laughs> summer is upon us and we have to do something about these windows. Jon Snow would agree. It gets hot in that bus. Summer is coming. Summer is coming. Jon Snow. Jon Sweat. <laughs> Obviously, our first day of sewing curtains was a total disaster, but the disaster didn't even end when we stopped sewing. It still kept creeping up on me that night. Um, I had a total 
PTSD response, I guess, to the stress. I didn't even realize I was that stressed out about the project, but I guess it was. So, um, which for me, that response starts with um, a headache coming on early in the evening, and as the headache grows worse, I start getting nauseated. And then as the nausea and the headache grow worse together, it gets worse and worse for literally hours until like at 10.30 at night, I am squirming with discomfort. Like I, I can't lay down because it hurts to lay down, but it hurts to sit up, and I feel like I'm right on the verge of throwing up. And then all of a sudden, boom, I am throwing up. I just keep throwing up and keep throwing up until it's all done, finally. And then I'm exhausted at that point, and I still feel terrible the next day. Like I'm all queasy and weak and pathetic the next day after that. So this is what always happens to me. It's what, I mean, a couple of years ago, it was happening like, I don't know, like two or three times a week when it was at its worst. It was so bad. And now it happens maybe once a month, maybe sometimes even less than once a month because I'm much better at guarding myself against that kind of stress and the kind of events that um, cause that to happen in me although some of them are completely unpreventable, like something as simple as going to the dentist. I guess my body perceives that as stress, so I have that whole PTSD stress response to those kind of situations too. Some of the things, there's just nothing I can do about it. I just have to live with this. And I try not to complain because believe me, I know there are people out there that have it so much worse than me. I just, um, I guess, wanted to explain that the whole point is we're just going to take a different approach to sewing the curtains and just I'm just going to work on it really slowly and really peacefully and they may not be done by the end of this video. I'm just going to get them done without being stressed out about getting them done. So After the first day, which I don't know if it was a total disaster, but it, we, we, you know, <laughs> it, was, it, was for me. it was a big learning experience as to like you know, how this fabric reacts to getting iron and things like that. And I think that uh, now we've come up with a much, uh, same design, but much more loose tolerances and that'll make it uh, yeah. fit better. And a better and plan. We're gonna work better. We're gonna make the curtain panel first and, then and when it's done, it. <laughs> we'll measure it and then cut the insole shine to fit that measurement. So yeah. that should be a little less stressful. So. <laughs> Once we do that, I think it'll move. It, it's kind of a, the insole shine makes it a much more difficult project. So much more difficult. So wow. now that we know that they, we have to face this thing, we're taking steps to make sure that it's not yeah. as stressful for her. Yeah. And but hopefully so. it's going to be worth it. Hopefully it's going to totally replace the reflectics and be just quick and easy to open and close our curtains without this big hassle. And no, no deals. We don't have to deal with storing in her. Yeah. Just yes. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Curtains, take two. Really? Come on, kitty. <laughs> what a helper. She's using fancy pinking shirts. These are the scissors with the jagged zigzag edges. And we're using them because they stop the fabric from unraveling. And this canvas unravels like crazy. So hopefully this will be better. Yeah, totally. We're being so precise in our mathematical calculations and so precise in our measuring and marking and using a straight edge and drawing lines and being precise in our cutting and precise in our ironing. We're being so perfect and it's still coming out an inch too short. I'm just perplexed, like curtains are the easiest thing on the whole planet to sew. And these curtains are just kicking my ass. And now I'm out here in the wind again. And the wind is one of my specific triggers, you guys. Like I have complex PTSD, which is the kind from childhood trauma. So the wind is one of my specific things. And I don't, maybe that's a part of why I was throwing up the last time. Maybe it was more than just the stress. Maybe the wind was part of it too. So now I'm out here in the wind being stressed out and perplexed again. Like this is just 
a recipe for disaster. It's like we next time we cut this, we have to add two inches to everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are on attempt number four of sewing a curtain. Now, in all fairness, attempt number two is hanging in the window in there, but it's a pretty shabby curtain and it's not finished yet. We don't know if we're gonna end up keeping it or getting rid of it and remaking it, but this is getting ridiculous how many tries it's taking us to get I, one curtain right. Totally feeling good about this one though. <laughs> I think we got this, number four, woo! <laughs> So far we're failing in attempt number four also. We just cut this one at entirely the wrong measurement, like eight inches wrong. <laughs> we're not getting any better at this. I finally got everything ready to sew and we can't sew. The wind is blowing so hard. It's blowing the string in this big long loop off of the spool of thread and it's just pulling out like miles of thread. We just can't sew outside in the wind like this. My whole project has just been foiled from the start, you guys. I think we're doomed on curtains. I know, we'll just get rid of it over there. Okay. Yeah, just hand me stuff. Oh, <laughs> you know, just hand me stuff in there. This is a sad moment. My daughter and Clade are packing up to move to Nashville, Tennessee. So that's my daughter's truck. That's her dad's truck. They're ready to go. All right, hey, it's everybody picturing this over there. <laughs> there they go. They're leaving the land of dust and poverty and heading to greener pastures in Tennessee. <laughs> I'm sure under any other circumstances I would be a lot sadder that my daughter was headed to Tennessee but we live in a bus so we can go visit anytime we want to and I think it's going to be great for them. Well it's a new day we're back to our outdoor sewing but at least the wind is not so bad today. We're actually making some progress well I shouldn't speak too soon. I think we're actually going to make some progress today. Okay, so I'm going to show you really quickly the basic construction of my insole shine curtain before I get it finished. So I think you'll be able to see what's going on here. This is the back side of the curtain and this edge I'm sewing now is the side seam. Up here is the top of the curtain where you can see we've already ironed exactly where it's going to be sewn, this edge turned under here. And when we sew this edge, it's gonna capture the top edge of the insole shine in that seam so it stays in place. But we didn't want the insole shine going all the way up and around in here. It would have made it far too thick and bulky to where it wouldn't bunch, bunch up on the curtain rod correctly. So we had to just make the insole shine in there but be captured in the seam there will be two seams here for the rod pocket and then a ruffle on the top of the curtain to block off the airflow that would you know come around the top of the curtain rod and then down here there's extra fabric for the hem we haven't ironed this one yet because we don't know precisely where it's going to fall until we get the curtain on the curtain rod because the curtain rod takes up some space of the curtain and kind of lifts the bottom edge a little bit so we want to get it in place and then pin this edge exactly where it needs to be before we iron it and sew it. Okay, I'm just finishing up this seam um, that holds down this edge of fabric and traps in the insole shine. And that will be the bottom seam for the rod pocket. Okay, we're good. For the ruffle at the top edge of the curtain, I need it to be one inch and one eighth so I measured from the needle and put a tape to, to mark my line so it'll be quicker and easier to sew. Reverse. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> I 
okay time to test it out and see what happens. It doesn't look very good. Well, it's closed. Doesn't look bad. I don't like the giant rod pocket. Look at how much nicer that curtain looks. I should have been turning the camera on the two of these so you guys could see the difference. Let me <laughs> do this so everybody can see on the camera the difference between these two curtains. We feel like this one looks so much more professional and this one looks totally amateur. I totally agree. Right? I totally agree with you. I hate to say it, but I totally agree with you. This is so much harder than I gave it credit to be. Now we're going to go back to making the rod pocket a little bit smaller. And now I have to start over again. One little bit of good news. We can reuse one of the curtain panels that we already cut out and ironed. And yesterday we thought it wasn't going to work because once we got everything sewn here, it wasn't going to leave enough space left for the hem. But now we can re-iron this in a different place to make our rod pocket a different size. That will leave enough extra for the hem at the bottom and we can reuse this curtain panel. Anyway, I think we're somewhat back on track and I think we know what to do with this next curtain. Operation Save Curtain is now in effect. And we're not trying to iron outside anymore. Th that was dumb. Okay, I just re-ironed this at two and a half inches for our new measurement. Fancy. Now that I have all the seam allowances and everything pressed in place, we just need to take the measurement to see how long to cut the insel shine so that it gets tucked into the uh, seam allowances on the edges. I'm just pinning the edge of this insel shine into the seam that we pressed here so it doesn't come out while I'm sewing. Pins are your friends. Whatever I sew without <laughs> pins all the time is perfect. That's why you're not doing the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, curtain number three is complete. Well, not complete, but to the um, fitting stage. So we can see if it's going to fit right on the rod, and then we can measure where the hem needs to go. Please let this be the perfect recipe for our curtain. Okay, it's fitting on the rod a little more snug. Let me scrunch them all up and get the wrinkles in there. <laughs> Is there going to be enough? Barely. God, please don't let me have wasted all that effort on another curtain, please. This is so frustrating. Well, we're three curtains in now and we haven't got one right yet. I'm spending a lot of effort on this project. What do you think? <clears throat> I think I'm wasting my time. I'm spending so much effort and so much energy. I'm trying to make this work. I just can't make it work. <laughs> it's stressing me out too much. I, I don't know how to make this work and I don't know how to get through this project. I, I'm out of energy on this project. It's just draining me. All right. This is take five on making a curtain. Now, in our defense, this isn't just some hanging curtain that if it was two inches short on the bottom, you'd be like, well, who cares? Like, it still covers the window. This has to fit between the exact top of the window and the bottom of the window in order for it to be right. And so, we're really being particular about that space at the bottom because if it's wrong, then the overall uh, effectiveness of these things isn't going to be very good. So uh, I think we've got it this time. I'm feeling good about this one. Oh, my thread just broke. Dang it. Oh, that's why. Right. right here. The wind blew it around. Oh my gosh. Okay, the wind has come up and is being a complete jerk right now, but we're at a monumental moment in the curtain construction. This is the first time we've sewn the bottom hem on a curtain. Every time, like, we have a failure before we get to this step, every oh, yeah, time. Totally. So, it's finally here. But in all this craziness, 
we have got the dimensions down. So it's totally repeatable now. Yeah, so we should do much better on every curtain from here on out. Yeah. Knock on wood. Right. <laughs> He has proved to be a valuable seamster today, though. That is for sure. You've been a, a handy assistant. Yes, with experience. You have been so handy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly so. <laughs> I can't believe I just came up with that one. I'm gonna that throw was so up. good. <laughs> the only thing that'd go wrong now is a bobbin would run out. Don't say that. Don't give it any ideas. <laughs> Your sewing is like my building. It's all perfectionism. Oh, look at my bottom seems totally swerved right there. Oh, here we go. You guys come over and visit us in our bus. Don't look at the bottom hem of my curtains. Gotta bunch it all up and get the wrinkles in the fabric for it to look right. I know because I've done this 58 times now. <laughs> is that gonna work? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, once you really like pull on it and get it all straight on the curtain rod, it is fine. Guess what? You can leave that one up. Oh, hallelujah, I finally got one right. Yes. <laughs> it took me five days and some tears. 58 tries. There, was, there were tears in there. There were some tears. I did cry today. <laughs> and long. this wasn't even the bad day. I can feel the difference, actually. Having the sun blocked out? Yeah, sun was pouring in here. I could feel the difference already. I kind of wish I had put the magnet in the seam so they would, thinking about that. so they would close. <laughs> yes, I was just thinking about that. Man, that would have been so cool, huh? Awesome job. Well, so-so. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. They're not perfect, but I think they will do the job we intended them for, which is more than just giving us privacy. Mm -hmm. It's all about the insulation. This is all about keeping out the heat in the summer and keeping out the cold in the winter. Yeah. And doing so more easily, as easily as pushing it open and closed instead of like having to put all those pieces of reflectix yeah. in and out every time and then having nowhere to put them when they were out. But just what a success this is finally. Like finally this moment. <laughs> it's a pretty big deal right here. Okay, we've sewn all we can sew for today. It's time to put this project away. And I don't know how much longer it's gonna take us to complete this project, so <laughs> I'm thinking we might just have to like show you later when the project is all finished, when we get all the curtains done. Yeah, because it, I mean, the, we're just doing the same thing over and over again yeah. at this point. The prototyping of this was hell. Yeah, that was the complicated Straight part. up hell. But now we have, we have the numbers, so it's easy to repeat it across the bus. So we're going to, you'll, it'd be the same thing over and over again. Yeah. I should draw out a really quick, simple little diagram that shows kind of how we figured out our measurements okay. for these curtains. Yeah. In case anybody wants to try anything this crazy for themselves. Yeah. So they don't have to go through the trial and error that we went through. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. We love it that you guys are following us. Leave a comment for us if you have any questions or any comments. Or suggestions. And suggestions, <laughs> anything like that. Subscribe is just right over there. Just, just hit it. <laughs> and make sure you come back and see us again next Thursday for whatever episode that might be. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.